All right, TM Nation, so about three weeks ago, I finally got my hands on a pair of the NeoBuds Pros by Edifier. Since I picked up my pair, I have done all of my normal testing, which I'll go through later on in this video. But not only that, I have also been taking these with me while I'm on the go just to test out the ANC and transparency mode capabilities. So now that I have had them for almost a month and I have really used them extensively, I want to give you my overall top to bottom opinion on how they perform. First of all, one thing that I really appreciate about these earbuds is the presentation. The packaging you get is really nice, and I couldn't help but think I was getting a premium product when I first saw it. As far as what you'll get inside of the box, the unboxing experience is pretty straightforward. You get your multiple sets of different sized ear tips. Followed by that, you do get a USB Type-C cable for charging, all of your documentation to show you how to use the earbuds. They include a nice little travel bag that you can throw the earbuds in your case in when you're on the go and of course you get your earbuds and the charging case. As for the design of the case, I really do like it. It is a little bit on the thicker side, but at the same time, it's not too large to throw in a normal sized pocket, book bag, or purse. It definitely does feel sturdy in the hands with the hard plastic design and the aluminum accent on the top. I don't think you'll have any issues protecting your earbuds. As for the design of the case, as you can see, you have your Edifier branding on the top. Your USB Type-C charging port is in the back, and on the front is the main thing that I like about this case. This is where you have your LED indicator light and it gives you a cool Knight Rider effect. It will pulse from side to side. For the battery specs, with ANC off, you can get a maximum of about 6 hours on a single charge. If you elect to turn it on, you'll get closer to 5. But once the earbuds go dead, you can throw them into the case a couple of times. If you have ANC off, you'll get about 18 hours worth of extra use. And if you are using ANC, you'll get about 15 hours worth of use using the case. One feature that I was hoping to get with these earbuds is wireless charging. However, you do not have that option with these earbuds when it's time for you to juice up the case, you're going to have to use a USB Type-C cable. Now moving on and taking a look at the NeoBuds themselves, as you can see they do have the stems coming down, but they're not too long or too short to put in and take out of your ears relatively easily. For the form factor, they aren't mini earbuds, but they aren't overly large or overly heavy in my ears. If being discreet is your thing, these earbuds are going to stick out some, depending on the overall curvature of your face, but they should not be crazy obvious. I mean, if some somebody is walking directly towards you or coming up behind you, they'll see them sticking out your ears slightly, but again, they don't stick out that much. Relative to the comfort in the ears with the NeoBuds Pros, they feel completely fine for me. I have worn them for a few hours at a time without any ear fatigue or discomfort. Again, you do get a bunch of different sized ear tips inside of the box, so you should be able to find something that provides a nice seal to your ears. And as these are earbuds, getting that optimal seal is going to be paramount for you to get the best active noise cancelling performance. And while I'm on the topic of ANC, let me go ahead and tell you how they have performed in this area for me so far because I have been really impressed. To test out the ANC performance with these earbuds, I took them in a few different environments and they did well in each one of them. As I always do, I did take them outside while all of the neighborhood kids were playing and I could barely hear their voices until they got extremely loud. These are not going to cancel out screaming or yelling. I also took them with me to the park and while I was sitting next to the basketball court, I could barely hear the ball bouncing or the people playing on the court for the most part. Like I said, these are not going to cancel out loud voices, so once they started arguing, I could hear a bit of that. I also did take these earbuds with me on a walk just to see how well they drown out road noise. They did a good job with this as well. While wearing them with ANC on, I couldn't really hear any of my ambient noise such as birds chirping or people walking by. Every once in a while, I was able to hear a car passing by that had a louder exhaust, but comparing the ANC performance of these earbuds with my other top ANC earbuds, I can confidently say that they're in my top five while still being cheaper than a lot of the other. These also do have a transparency mode that you can toggle on or off and it does work well in my opinion. I found that while using it, if a conversation is taking place about within a three foot radius of me, I can usually hear it 
pretty clearly. I did also use these for exercise guys and they stayed in place relatively well. Even when I became sweaty, they didn't fall out or move around as much as I expected them to. Being that these earbuds don't have any ear hooks or anything of that nature, I think that this is where the ear tips come into play again. And I've also found that the design of the earbuds with the ridges on the side help keep them planted up against your ears even once the sweat starts flowing like i said they stayed in place for me relatively well i only had to reposition them once or twice the earbuds also did not malfunction once i became sweaty they still picked up my feedback in terms of the touch controls without any issues they do have an ip54 rating so splashes of water or sweat will not harm them but as i always do i did do my water test just to see how they would react while being wet Let's take a look at what happened. As far as the Bluetooth connection, I have paired these with both my iPhone 12 Pro and my Galaxy S21. I have had no issues whatsoever. I have watched quite a few YouTube videos. I have also watched a couple of movies through the Amazon Prime app. And even with mobile gaming, everything seemed to be relatively synced up. Now with Call of Duty Mobile, there was a slight delay there, but it's not that noticeable. If you're a hardcore gamer, you're gonna wanna throw these into the dedicated gaming mode. But as for all of the codecs that these earbuds are compatible with they are compatible with lhdc which is low latency high definition audio this is only available through certain devices and i do not own one so i really couldn't test this out but you don't have to worry if you're in the same boat as me and you don't have an lhdc compatible device the earbuds will automatically default to aac or sbc as for the playback controls with these earbuds they're going to be executed by touch and so far they've been really responsive i am also happy Happy to note that you do have access to all of your playback controls with these earbuds and you can even customize them through the Edifier app. And like I've said in other Edifier videos, I do think that the Edifier app is one of the better ones. Through it, it does allow you to do quite a bit. You can see the charge left on both of your individual earbuds and it does have a spot for your case as well. But unfortunately, I have never been able to get this to work for my individual pair. It always says that my case is offline, so I don't know if this will be fixed with a future update. Other than that, like I said, you can customize your playback controls. You can select your ambient mode and the strength of your transparency mode. In addition to those features, you can also put your earbuds into gaming mode directly through the app and you can also access different EQs or create your own as well. Relative to the amount of sound leakage that you'll get with these earbuds, they do leak some sound like most true wireless earbuds, but I don't think it's that bad considering how loud they get. But I did take a sound for you guys to judge for yourselves let's take a listen All right guys, so specs and features out of the way, let me touch on how these have performed for me so far in terms of sound quality. Out of the box for me, they sound really good, they're nice and clear, but the fact that I can go in there and tailor the sound to my personal liking makes it that much better. The built-in EQs are gonna be more than adequate for most people. Here you're gonna get some nice crispy highs and mids, and you're also gonna get some deep bass as well. One thing that I noticed almost immediately is that with the built-in EQs, the high highs and mids can be a little bit harsh at the higher levels, so I dialed them down. Also, if you like to listen to your earbuds extra loud, you might want to dial the bass back just a little bit because they are extra boomy out of the box. But overall, guys, like I said, out of the box, they sound really good. You're going to be able to hear those nice background instruments and vocals just fine. And if you listen to anything with a nice bass line, you will be able to fill it with these. So far, I have been really impressed with the amount of low end that you get with these earbuds and the total sound for that matter they have handled everything that i've thrown at them so far very well i've listened to podcasts with them watched movies and youtube videos i have also used them for hours of music listening and i've enjoyed every bit of it i have also been impressed with how these perform during voice calls each earbud has three separate mics to focus on capturing clear speech. I have made several voice calls so far and nobody has complained about how I sounded, but I did take a sample for you guys to judge for yourselves. Let's take a listen. All right, guys, so right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 12 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on the earbuds. 
I am not going to do any type of editing to this audio, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how they will perform for voice calls. So taking everything into consideration guys, for about 130 bucks, the Neobuds Pros are hard to beat at that price. I mean, they're providing you with all of the basics and some extras as well. You're getting good call quality, good audio quality, compatibility with the app. They're gonna give you okay battery life in comparison to other ANC earbuds, but you're also getting really good ANC performance and a fit in the ears that is extremely comfortable to me, but also suitable for exercise at the same time. No, you're not going to be able to benefit from the highest audio quality that these are capable of unless you have an LHDC compatible device. But I am telling you guys that I do not own one myself and I own many different pairs of earbuds and these are up there with some of the best sounding that I own. So if you're looking for a really solid pair of all around earbuds with some really nice ANC performance, I can definitely say that these are a go. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.